Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly and let's take a look at the hyperlink function in Excel. Now the hyperlink function can actually create hyperlinks for you. It has uh, two inputs. First is uh, the link location, uh, wherever your link is, um, could be on the internet or could be in the same file and a friendly name for it. Let's take a look at how a simple hyperlink works. So I'm going to do equals to hyperlink. It asks me for a link location. Let's say I specify as uh, HTTP I think that's a mandatory thing to write dot uh, www dot goodly dot co dot in right and uh, since this is a piece of text I have to put that in inverted commas now and a friendly name is going to be uh, something that uh, people could read it easily uh, so it could just say our website right so two two inputs first is your link location uh, anywhere on the internet uh, or in the same file or and the friendly name for it i'm just going to press enter and this is going to show our website because this is the friendly name that we've given now once you click on this link it's going to take me through good to goodly.co.in let's take a look right it's opening goodly and uh, let's see yes the site is open i'm just going to close that and get back to the hyperlink function once again. Let's take a look at the couple of variants in the hyperlink function. Now, not always would you like to go and link to a website. Sometimes you would want to link to uh, any other sheet in the same Excel file. So let's take a look here. We are working on the hyperlink file. The name of this file is hyperlink. And I'd like to go on sheet number four in the cell A1. So what I have done here is uh, I have written hyperlink that's the name of the file dot xlsx and sheet 4a1 now please notice the way that I have written hyperlink it's in the square brackets the name of the file sheet 4 and a1 so if you want to get the exact name of the file and the sheet name what you could do is you could use the cell function equals to cell and then go on file name and then close the bracket press enter this is going to give you the address, exact address of the file and you could then extract only this part the high, the uh, name of the file and the way it is written right so choose is the name of the sheet hyperlink is the name of the file and you already have an extension and the square brackets here and all i have to do is if i have to link this to sheet number four i have to remove choose and link sheet four here right sheet four here and then take that and put it in my hyperlink formula so i'm just going to delete that so I have already written a text here and I've used the hyperlink formula here. So I'm saying hyperlink this cell and this cell contains uh, the place where the hyperlink is redirected to. Uh, I'm just going to close the bracket, press enter. Now when I click on this, it's going to take me to sheet number four in the same Excel file. Coming back to the choose from uh, the hyperlink here. Let's just choose. This should be actually hyperlink. right uh, let's take a take a look at another example here uh, what, what we want to do is uh, let's say I do not want to hyperlink into the current uh, workbook but I want to link it to another workbook so the name of my workbook is test file dot xlsx and the sheet is sheet a1 right now because the hyperlink file and the test file are kept in the same folder I am not you know it's not a mandatory thing for me to specify the address of the excel file the whole address where it's located so i can just write the name of the file and the folder and and, and the sheet name and it's just going to work absolutely fine so when i click here it's going to open another file which is called a test file and go on sh you know sheet a1 the reason why it goes is because test file and hyperlink file are kept in the same uh, folder if they were in a different folder then you would have to give the the path of the file as well now there's one more variation that i learned from uh, deborah's website which is contextures.com you can check that out i think the spelling is contextures.com that's the name of the site you can just check it out i'll just check if the spelling is right or not but i think that's the site uh, i learned this technique from there that what you could do is if you specify a, a hashtag in front of the sheet name, it actually takes you to that sheet. You do not even have to write 
the file name here. So if you take a look at this example, we have written the file name here first in square brackets, and then we have written the sheet name here. But what we are doing here is just by speci specifying a hashtag here, we are writing the name of the sheet and the address of the cell, and then we are using the hyperlink formula and linking that here. And now if you can see, I'm just going to click here and it's going to take me to sheet number four. The same technique can be used, let's say I am here in my sheet and uh, I want to go to this sheet. So if you take a look at this sheet and this sheet, uh, there's a subtle difference here. Uh, this sheet has got no spaces in the entire sheet name, but this has got a space here. So my space sheet. Whenever you have a space in the sheet name, the way you write it is in single inverted commas. So let's just take a look. So I'm going to say equals to and link one cell to sheet four, press enter. And if you just take a look here, this is writing sheet four, right? No spaces, just an exclamation mark at the end. Now I'm going to link another cell in sheet, my sheet and click here and press enter. And now if you just take a look here, this is specifying the sheet name in single inverted commas. You see that this is a single inverted comma and this is again a single inverted comma and then you have the exclamation mark. So whenever you have a space in the sheet name, uh, you put a single inverted commas here. So what I'm going to do is uh, just to apply the same concept in the hyperlink function, the first thing that I do is specify uh, the hashtag, which is also like a trick which allows you to go to any other sheet in uh, the same Excel file. So I apply a hash hashtag and after hashtag, I apply a single inverted comma and then I close uh, that by a double inverted comma. I apply the and symbol and after and I am what I'm doing is I'm linking my sheet. So as of now, I have linked the hashtag, a single inverted comma, then I link this, my sheet, and then I again apply a single inverted comma here, and then an exclamation mark, which is also needed, and the cell address. So this becomes an entire full thing, something like this, something like this, but the cell address here is A1, and uh, there is also a, uh, like a hashtag in be before. So the only difference here is this. And when you click here, this is going to take you to sheet A1. All right. So those were the few variations of the hyperlink function. I hope you've liked the video. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or on YouTube, and you can follow all our blogs at kuli.co.in. Well, thank you so much for watching this and you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.